write our line integral with surface integral and surface integral with volume integral, we have two beautiful theorems. We will discuss about those two theorems. They are divergence theorem and Stokes theorem. These two theorems are very much useful in our electromagnetics. With the help of these two theorems only, Maxwell simplified or the converted the differential equations to the integral equations or the differential form of equations to the integral equations. And with the help of these two, we can interpret our Maxwell's equations in a beautiful way. So, learning of these two is essential or at least we need to observe what they are that divergence theorem. Let us consider we have a surface, a closed surface. But always we can say that a closed surface will forms a volume, right. So, whenever we have a closed surface, if you want to calculate a particular quantity, how much quantity is going out from this particular surface. Let us take A bar is leaving the surface, then till now just we calculated our A bar which is leaving the surface called as flux with the help of our closed surface integral. So, the closed surface integral of A bar d s you can calculate. This divergence theorem gives the closed surface integral of this one that is nothing but the quantity which is leaving the surface as the quantity which is in inside that particular volume. So, the quantity which is inside that particular volume can be calculated using our volume integral. So, this can be the volume integral of divergence from the volume d v that a closer surface integral of a d s always can be related to the volume integral with the simple divergence principle that whenever the quantity is leaving the surface the flux is leaving the surface that if you observe that one that is diverging from the volume. So, the closer surface integral of a d s is equals to volume integral of del dot a bar d v. So, this is a very very important relation we need to remember for our electromagnetic theory. In the same way we have one more theorem that is called as Stokes theorem. This Stokes theorem is useful for uh, say in the connection connecting as a line integral with the surface integral. So, you can relate the line integral with surface integral. How? Let us consider a closed line that here we have a closed line and we are going to calculate how the field is along this closed line. So, if you are calculating how the field is distributed along this closed line that can be possible with simple closed line integral that let us take a bar is the field which is flowing here that how it is distributed along the line is a bar dot d l bar. Now, this Stokes theorem gives the total uh, particular quantity which is distributed along this line is equals to the curling nature of this line within this particular surface. So, how it is rotating in this particular surface or how it is rotating the surface what we are considering. So, simply this can be written as the surface integral of curl of this vector a bar with respect to the differential surface what we are considering. That differential surface was formed because of this closed line. So, here clearly the closed line integral of a d l is equals to the surface integral of del cross a bar d s. In the previous theorem as well as in this theorem what we need to remember is the closed line integral always forms a surface. In the previous one closed surface always forms a volume. So, the divergence theorem relates the closed surface with volume and the Stokes theorem relates the closed line with surface. So, we need to remember this equation also these two equations what we have will helpful for converting the or understanding the Maxwell's equations. So, with this one we can finish the introduction part of our electromagnetics later we can solve some problems which are, which are given in various uh, competitive examinations.